cases of deadly flesh eating bacteria infections from Maryland waters are on the rise. That's according to state officials who say just this week a Maryland man nearly lost his leg from one of those infections. And so, a warning tonight. Love News reporter Karen Campbell is live at the Inner Harbor with more on that and what you need to know to stay safe. Karen. Well, good evening. Those at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation say they don't want to create panic. They just want to keep everyone informed and encourage everyone to be diligent when it comes to getting in the water. They may look inviting, but Maryland's waterways can also be deadly. Environmentalists with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation are warning people about a rise in bacterial infections in the bay that can lead to amputation or even death if not treated properly. It's called Vibrio vulnificus. It's pretty scary. A 66 year old Maryland man is recovering after he nearly lost his leg to Vibrio recently while crabbing and swimming in the Chesapeake Bay. Health officials say a cut on his body became infected. That's when the bacteria began to feed on his flesh. According to the Centers for Disease Control, Vibrio lives in warm coastal waters during the summer months. Infection may also be acquired by eating raw or uncooked seafood from those waters. I would like to see um, some more um, data to see how frequently this is happening and, and water, pure, you know, water studies to see if it really is uh, an increasing problem or it's just the status quo. According to the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, the number of reported cases of Vibrio reached 57 last year, a 10-year high. There were 33 in 2008, and in 2001, there were only 18. According to the CBF, 22 deaths in Maryland over the last decade have been linked to Vibrio infections. The CBF also noted the increase in the number of infections could be due to pollution. If you don't take care of your trash, it's got to go somewhere. And most of the time, it ends up, it ends up in the waterway. Waterways that Nikhil Philly says he'll keep a watchful eye on. Yeah, I try not to go out that much into the water with an open wound. I mean, if I don't have an open wound, I guess I can go. And health officials say, remember, this bacterial infection is rare. To stay safe, remember, if you do have an open cut or wound, do not go into the water. If you do get cut while in the water, they say you should immediately wash it with soap and water or use hand sanitizer and then immediately cover it up with a waterproof bandage. Reporting live from the Inner Harbor, Karen Campbell, WBAL-TV 11 News.